Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And what I would like to do today is explain to you how to upgrade an existing SharePoint site to an Office 365 group. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining to you the difference between a SharePoint site and an Office 365 group. I have actually done that already and you can find a video uh, on this on my YouTube channel. Uh, but in the context of today's uh, demo, uh, I still want to give you a brief overview. So a SharePoint site uh, is just literally, you know, a SharePoint site. It's it's a static uh, calibration space, if you will, that uh, typically, you know, usually, of course, includes a document library and other, you know, widgets, other web parts like, you know, task lists, calendars, um, you know, news modules, links, whatever you have on your site. Uh, and of course, this is the what a, a, a regular team site looks like. This is, of course, a classic uh, look and feel uh, that we had for many, many years, the classic look and feel of a SharePoint site. This is the modern team site, the, the modern look and feel. Um, now, Office 365 Group, in contrast, uh, is, is a membership group. It's a security group uh, that is tied to all the different, you know, various apps that you have as part of your Office 365 subscription. So here's an example of an Office 365 group, and it still can consist of site, but it also consists uh, of other elements, um, you know, other apps available as part of your Office 365 subscription. So when you have an Office 365 group, you typically, you know, you, you have, of course, certain members that are part of the group, and all these members get access to everything that is part of that group. And when you provision an Office 365 group, you, you get a number of things. You get a SharePoint site, you get a task management tool, you know, called Planner, you get one notebook, uh, one not notebook, you get a, a, an Outlook-based calendar, and you get an email distribution list. All right, so you get all this, other, you know, several things. By the way, you can also get Teams, right? If you use Teams for chat-based collaboration, you, you also can get that as, as part of an Office 365 group. So the, the idea here is that you, you get a number of these different, you know, tools and apps available uh, so you can collaborate, right? If you have a regular SharePoint site, you know, literally the only thing we can do here is just um, is just upload documents, exchange some information, but for the most part, it's a static site. When you have an Office 365 group, you, you get a site, but you also have all these other tools, you know, calendar and, you know, um, teams and planner, all the social uh, social collaboration tools you might need as part of your, you know, uh, team, um, project or, or department. Okay, now, what if, what if we provisioned um, our sites um, a long while ago, right? Um, remember, Office 365 groups only became available just literally a few years ago. They're just now gaining the popularity. But look, what happened? What happens if I created my uh, SharePoint site, you know, four years ago? Or so, right? Or you know, maybe I would probably have something like this: a static, a static classic site. And what if I want a group? Or, you know, maybe I did provision a, a modern team site, but I did not uh, tie it into an Office 365 group. You can actually do that uh, in, in SharePoint. Uh, maybe I just decided to start with, you know, just basic uh, document management. So my team is, you know, um, you know, will will get comfortable with SharePoint. But now I realized, hey, I want uh, I want all this, you know, bells and whistles, all this collaboration tools. I want Planner. I want Teams. Um, so I mean, obviously, you can provision the new site, but now you have to migrate content and your URL changes, and you know, most of the time it's not an option. Luckily, luckily, we can upgrade an existing SharePoint site uh, to an Office 365 group. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Now, there is one very important uh, disclaimer, I guess. You can only upgrade a site collection to an Office 365 group. So if you have a site, when I'm referring to a site, uh, I'm actually referring to a site collection because remember every time you provision an office 365 group you end up with a separate site collection not a subsite so if you have a site um, if you have a site that is the root of the site collection just like I ha have it here you see this is the root of my site collection this is the URL of my site collection 
same thing here. The, the, this is by the way the modern site, right? This is my classic site. Look at this. This is the I'm at the root of the site collection. Only in those cases, in in, in all, only in this case, I can upgrade to an Office 365 group. I cannot upgrade a subsite. If you have a subsite, let's say it's a project subsite or a department subsite, you have a number of subsites in a site collection. Sorry, you cannot do that. You can only upgrade the very top level site. So as you can see, and I will actually demonstrate it. Uh, you 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 will not be able to to upgrade a, a subsite uh, to, to an Office 365 group. So in those cases, you will probably do will need to spin up a new Office 365 group. All right, and how, how are we going to do it? It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, the upgrade process is pretty straightforward. You just go navigate to your site and click on the gear icon. Uh, we are on a classic site, by the way, now. On the gear icon, you will see connect to new Office 365 group. All right, same thing here. If I go to my modern site now, um, I have a modern site, but I want more, I want uh, I want all the bells and whistles of an Office 365 group. Gear icon, connect to new Office 365 group. Now, remember how I said you cannot upgrade a subsite? Here is an example. Here is my subsite. You see, it's a subsite. It's a classic site, but it's not, doesn't matter whether it's classic or modern. You know, what matters here is that it's a subsite. You see, it's a subsite under my root, under my site collection. So, if I try the gear icon, look at this, connect to uh, an Office 365 group, option is not available. So unfortunately, can do it. So we will only, once again, we, we can only upgrade uh, the root of the site collection. That's exactly what we're going to do now. It doesn't really matter. I have these two sites just to kind of show you that you can upgrade both the classic and modern sites. Doesn't really matter. The look and feel doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this modern site. The, the steps are really identical, you know, in both cases. So here it is. I have my, I'm at the root of my site collection uh, and I want an Office 365 group. Uh, you don't go, right? Remember the, the, the regular way of creating an Office 365 group would be, um, you know, by navigating to your Outlook. There are actually many places to where you can, you can create a group from, but, you know, one of them, the most common one is this Outlook, right? and you would select create new group. But obviously this doesn't work in our case because in this case it just spins up a new site. We don't want that. We want an existing uh, site to be upgraded. So that's what exactly what we're going to do. So I'm back here. All you need to do is gear icon, connect to new Office 365 group, and then you just follow the prompts. All right, it just gives you some information here. You just literally follow the prompts. It's not that hard at all. Uh, and you, you, you can, I guess, uh, change the name if you want. Um, it just pretty much takes whatever the site name is, right? You can provide a site description. It does check now, with that being said, it does check the, um, um, you know, the for aliases and all that, because remember, we're getting, uh, you are getting an email address. So it, it does go through the some checkup process in the background to make sure that the email addresses are not taken, etc. Everything is cool here. Uh, now, same same as with the regular Office 365 group creation, it is asking us about the uh, privacy settings. Remember, there are only two to choose from, private or public. Uh, public means it's pretty much a public group. It's pretty much like free lunch for everyone. Uh, typically, uh, you know, I don't know why you would need one that is public, right? That, you know, pretty much everyone can access it uh, without being a member and modified. I, I really don't see a lot of scenarios here. So uh, let's keep it private, which means it's based on membership. You have to be a member of the group to uh, to 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 access uh, the content and modify it. So let's keep that, and then we just press the button connect group. Um, and what happens here? It's actually um, smart enough to um, uh, you know to kind of build the membership. Um, what happens is that it, of course, if you remember with Office 365 group, we have owners and we have members. Now, uh, I actually forgot to show you, but I had Mary being, uh, being a regular team site member. So what happened to Mary here, you know, it, it just takes, you know, whoever is the member, in this case, Mary, and automatically, uh, uh, you know, adds, adds, adds those individuals as members. So anyone who used to be with added privileges on your site, 
in the members group they automatically become members of the uh, of the uh, of your future office 365 group and you can of course add additional names here right we can add maybe some other individuals you can also add owners right by default you become an owner of the group right because you're creating it uh, but you can add additional names here uh, let's just keep it like that we'll click finish and let's see what happens and look at this look at this let's see a few things have happened here so first of all we did get an upgrade to the group as you can see here uh it's a membership group now consistent of me mary and john who i added during the group creation uh it um it also tells us it's a private group exactly what we wanted now a couple of things happen that are kind of a little bit i find a little bit annoying but i understand i guess the the reason um behind those and um there are two things that happen so first of all, it alters our home page. If you recall, I had a different, a little bit different layout of the home page. Uh, I actually customized it, and it created just with the, you know, it created a brand new home page for us. Uh, uh, this is pretty much an out of the box home page for a, a, an Office 365 group. Um, so we need to revert back to our previous uh, home page, to our previous home page, uh, and. Um, uh, to do that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, now, I think the reason why it does that, I, I kind of get it because, look, in my case, I had a modern team site and, it, and I already kind of customized it. But in, in cases where I'm upgrading from classic, um, you know, wiki style page, right? Obviously, this is no good anymore. So it does give us the new modern page. I think that's exactly what it's trying to do. But in my case, I already had a home page, uh, which was pretty, you know, it was customized. I want it back very easy to revert back to the home page just click on the gear icon site contents we need to go to site pages library and if you notice if you notice the the home page i created um it's here, here it is and it created a brand new home for us <laughs> it even added uh, one at the end uh this is the one it created now i don't want this all you need to do, you don't even need to delete it or anything like that. Um, right click on the previous, on the previous, uh, well, on the page you had previously and make it home page. Essentially, we're forcing it back to our, you know, previous home page. And then if we click uh, word home, look at this, we're, we're getting our, this is my old, um, you know, page that I had. So that's one thing that we kind of have uh, had to fix. Another thing that we have to fix is the um, quick launch menu. If you notice on the left hand side, uh, because we, we had the previous home page, we, we have the new home page. Uh, now uh, it's uh, it pretty much maintains uh, both links. So we just have to delete kind of this additional entry. Very easy to do. Just click edit and let's just remove it. Here we go so now it's nice and clean and because of course we we got an office 365 group uh now we have conversations right the distribution list um uh that is part of our office 365 group let's let's click to, just to double check here we go uh we now have essentially all the bells and whistles that are part of our uh, office 365 group so now we we have pretty much the same elements you would typically have if you want to create a new group from scratch with the only exception, right? So yeah, we, we get conversations, we get Outlook calendar, we get planner. We can also upgrade it to Teams. We have to do it through uh, Microsoft Teams though. Uh, and the best part about it, the site, the site that is part of our Office 365 group is not some new, brand new site. Uh, it's our old site with you know, essentially with the same, we just the same web parts and everything we, we used to have for many, many years. So we can pretty much our team can keep uh, using the same uh, URL, can keep, you know, using the same document libraries. Uh, everything kind of stays. Uh, if you have metadata, everything stays. You don't need to migrate anything. But now, of course, you can enjoy all the other benefits uh, that come in uh, as part of the Office 365 group. All right, so uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, so I would like to thank you for, uh, for your time.
and I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.